Hello guys, my name is Nick Under, I am a professional blockchain developer and in this guide I'll show you how to create a simple Telegram mini app using Next.js 14 that retrieves and displays user data from Telegram. Let's get started. Over the past three weeks I received more than 800 requests from users asking to buy the full code of the Ton Telegram clicker game. In response, I've developed a complete full-stack clicker, including both front-end and back-end. It uses Next.js 14, TypeScript, MongoDB, Prisma, Zustand and other modern technologies. It features a beautiful design and seamless synchronization with the server. I'm excited to announce that you can now pre-order the full code on my website nikander.com with a 30% discount, the code will be released in 80 hours. Additionally, I'll be deploying this app under the name Ton Eyes, allowing all users to play and earn points. If you want to earn money today in the current market, don't miss this opportunity to get your hands on a professional, fully functional clicker game for Telegram. If you just want to learn, you can wait for my upcoming videos in this series Make Ton Telegram Mini App. Let's continue with the topic of this video. Open VS Code, open the terminal, create Next.js project, type npx, create next app, latest. Use TypeScript, yes. Use ESLint, yes. Use Tailwind, yes. Use src no, use app router yes, customize import no, wait a few moments for the project to set up. Install Telegram web app SDK, npm install twa dev SDK. Clear the console and now we are ready to write our code. Navigate to the app folder and open the layout file. Change the title to Telegram Mini App and the description to a simple Telegram Mini App using next.js14. Add the head tag. Inside the head tag, we add a script component. This script loads the Telegram Web App JavaScript file. We set its strategy to before interactive. This ensures the Telegram script loads early. Open the page.tsx file and clear all the code. Add use client at the top of the file. This tells Next.js that this component should run on the client side. We need this because we'll be using hooks like use state and use effect and accessing the web app object from Telegram, these features require client-side JavaScript execution. Open global.css file and clear all the styles. Then go back to page.tsx. Define an interface called user data. We have properties ID as a number, first name as a string, last name as an optional string, username as an optional string, language code as a string, is premium as an optional boolean. These properties describe the user data we will get from Telegram. Declare a state variable user data using use state, set its type to user data or null, set its initial value to null. Define a use effect, check if Telegram gives us user data, if it does, save it in user data state, make sure it fits our user data type, add empty brackets at the end so it runs once when the component loads. Add a main element with padding, use a conditional render if user data exists, Render a heading and a list of user details. If not, show a loading message. In the list, 
display user ID, first name, last name, username, language code, premium status. For premium status, use a ternary operator to show yes or no. Open next.config.mjs and add some configurations. Now we can run this code. Type npm run dev. Copy the link and open it in your browser. As you can see, we don't have any data here because we've just opened it in our browser. We need to open this as a Telegram mini app inside Telegram. To do so, you can upload the project to a GitHub repository and then deploy it to Vercel. After that, you'll be able to use link of the deployed app from Vercel to create a Telegram mini app as we did in the previous videos. This is how our app looks as a Telegram mini app. We can now see all the user data that is needed for a Telegram mini app. We will need the user ID to verify users on the server and add new users to our database. The name is good for showing it on the main game screen. For users who have Telegram Premium, we can provide additional points and benefits. That's it for today, folks. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. See you in the next video.